Next up today is Dragon Link. How about that? Uh, so I've kind of gone over it and started familiarizing myself with it. I hope I'm going to like it. Uh, not too sure about this one. Seems to be two buttons here on the top. This is a menu labeled. This one isn't labeled. Oops. It also is sort of jammed up against the side of the case. It doesn't push. So I don't know what that is. I uh, will send part of this video to the manufacturer and see what's up with that one. This switch over here also, not quite sure yet what it does. Doesn't seem to have any movement in it and it doesn't click. I might should read the documentation, right? <laughs> so, I have hooked this up and I have basically dumped out using uh, videos and stuff exactly what version of the software was on it and what all the settings were out of the box. Now I'm going to try to flash it up to the current version. Okay, here is Dragon Link RC. Oops. Come on. This is DragonLinkRC.com and here in the these seem to be separate, but they're not. If you click on either one of these, it takes you to the same place. Uh, and this seems to be what I have. Uh, that button is shown there. Anyway. Wi-Fi module, radio telemetry. Okay. So we'll start up here. I have downloaded these firmwares. And <clears throat> I think this is the one that's on it right now. I am going to flash this one. Because there's just information everywhere that says this has a lot of information in it. So, oops. Anyway, this is where it's downloaded, and this tells you how to go through updating the firmware. So real quick, we'll look at the transmitter is plugged into USB. It came up on COM18. Don't know if I'll need that information or not. Here's that firmware vision history so if you read through this there are a lot of things that you really would want to update this firmware so here's the firmware updater Okay, so this is the transmitter, that's the other one, this is the new version, this is the transmitter firmware, and we'll click upload. Yeah, this window does not size at all. Okay, upload. Ah, that's good. I always like when it's green instead of red. <laughs> Version 3 transmitter firmware selected at the bottom. File selected. 21.7.16. Right here. That's what I want. While this is transferring, I'm just... Looking at this stuff for the first time. Okay, we're almost.
advance there, I think. Dragon Lift, Slam Advance, Update, Request Sent, Transfer Accepted, Successful Update, Receiver Restarted. Eh, it's not a receiver, but I guess the transmitter could have sent a signal to tell the receiver to reboot if they were both powered up at the same time. So, I think that's all I need to do here. So I'm going to close this. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to disconnect the USB to the transmitter and plug it back in just to get a firm reset. And it says I have to use this. Okay. That all looks good. Firmware date 21716. Telemetry range 187 kilometers with one watt on 25 milliwatts, 29 kilometers. Ah, that starts telling a little bit of the tail on the 40 watt. So I'm still going to be looking at the uh, crossfire. No sense in throwing that away. So this is just the information. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> and it set up a ID of three two one. <laughs> I'll probably be change that in the future. So it told me not to make mess with any of this, and s seeing I'm only powering it up for the first time and uh, making sure that I have the current firmware version on it. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Graphical user, in user interface updates and it's increasing. <laughs> I wonder if that's an update for this configuration program or if it's just updates from the transmitter hmm oh well we'll just unplug the USB on the transmitter and oh look at that it stopped it looks like it's updates from the transmitter itself and they pick right up where they left off after it's plugged back in interesting not much information there. Perhaps it's in the documentation. But what documentation I am using said after update you must click the factory box and then click both save boxes for both transmitter and receiver. Okay. Factory. Oops. Is that changing a bunch of stuff? Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Not use, not use. PM analog RSSI. Not use, not use, not use, not use. I'm going to reboot it. I didn't click save, so I'm going to reboot the hardware, and I'm going to restart <laughs> the software. Yeah, all of this sort of does look different now. Some information that was right here went away. Hmm. I guess I can look back at this video. <laughs> Oh well, it's a factory. Oh, that's what changed this stuff. Okay, boy. First time you play with stuff, it's just kind of stressful. So I'll click save here. I'll click save here. And for kicks and grins without changing anything, I'll click save here. Eh, there's nothing. 
no click there so I did click both of these and that's basically what it told me to do spectrum analyzer yikes there's a little 915 in the house it looks like uh, wonder if that's this radio <laughs> or my Wi-Fi router cell phone who knows that'll be interesting to look into in the future can't size this window oh well okay so that takes care of the transmitter we'll go ahead and shut this down unplug the transmitter <coughs> By the way, I have an antenna on both the transmitter and the receiver because, as we know now, these are actually transceivers, transmitter receivers, both of them. And any transmitter without an antenna on it can be damaged. So it's just best to put a antenna on. I actually recommend putting an antenna on anything sometimes they call them receivers and they're truly transceivers eh, might not blow up your circuitry but it could stress it <laughs> so now we're looking for the receiver to get updated so back oops not in there oh and this doesn't even know doesn't even talk to the old firmware this was where I was supposed to click Okay, micro RX, micro RX. Thought this was a name differently, but what they're called when you buy them, and what they're called in the documentation, and what this shows can be totally different things. This could be just put up for every RX that's used on it. It could be an internal label, so I'm not real upset that it's. Not a 1,000, it looks like a 1,000 milliwatt, 915 full, but that was a little strange. Select firmware, this is the receiver, 716-2021, receiver, okay. I'll select it. more file loaded okay so upload click all right we got green again I like it <laughs> I can say much better than if it's red so I hope this addresses my telemetry problem but again, the little item I saw out there, how a 25 milliwatt. And this doesn't always relate exactly to another manufacturer's, but this is a little bit about radio propagation that the software was speaking that with 25 milliwatts you could go quite a few kilometers. Uh, that's in a perfect world, by the way not outdoors, not basically a theoretical world. Okay, micro RX, high power, I guess. I have no idea. Firmware update, request sent, transfer accepted. I think this is taking place when you click upload, but the software isn't exactly right. I think this should come up when you click it, and this should come up when it finishes. But that's cosmetic again successful update receiver restarted that could be just the same message from the transmitter and it, it should say transmitter restarted so now again I'm going to unplug get a hardware reset on the receiver and then I'm going to go back into the GUI and check that out. Again, we have GUI 
updates running. Uh, other stuff looks very similar. I guess they should be the same. Oh, no, this is totally different. Okay. Well, that's one reason I'm documenting this. And this was what I was talking about. 25 milliwatts should go 29 kilometers. If you say so, 18 miles, 25 milliwatts. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm a little bit doubtful about that, but it does give me some hope on the crossfire. So I was supposed to click factory and then save, save, and again, this kit be saved. I think that's because there were no values changed up here. Okay. So that's got them updated to the current firmware. Boy, there sure isn't a lot of things to change in this firmware update. And I'm going to shut that off right there. I will take this back up again tomorrow or Wednesday but I will tell you right now that I did go on to start binding this together and boy did I run into some weeds but we'll talk about that in the next video I'll start out talking about that for tonight that's it so far we got the firm we're upgraded into two of them and got a little familiarity with it and that's about it for the first day thank you guys